Hey there, so it's extremely late, but I wanted to come on and do this review while the movie is still fresh in my mind. And I uh, just finished watching on uh, Netflix the movie uh, Here Comes the Devil. It's uh, a Mexican horror film, and it's really kind of a throwback to the uh, 70s and the early 80s style of filmmaking. It's uh, definitely a, a different film. Um, there are spoilers here, so... Uh, you know that going in. I really did enjoy this film. I thought it it as a as a dad, it got under my skin a bit. And uh, anyway, let's get into it. The film starts with uh, a lesbian couple in uh, in the throes of passion, and it's a uh, it's pretty. I guess pretty hot. Actually, this the erotic scenes in this movie are done extremely well. Now the uh, after they're kind of in the afterglow, and there's a knock on the door, and the girl goes downstairs to check. The other one kind of stays upstairs because it's kind of obvious that the other girl is kind of still, um, I guess, in the closet. And uh, she hears something downstairs, and eventually she goes to check it out, and she sees uh, a a hawking man straddling her lover and like just beating the crap out of her, which is to the point where she's almost dead. He like chops off her her fingers with a uh, with a machete. Now she uh, attacks him, hits him over the head, and uh, he runs into the desert. And uh, that's the last we see him. And it cuts forward to a uh, a family. There's a I gotta make sure I get their names here. Put them up. Uh, there's Felix, Saul, Adolfo, and Sarah. And Adolfo and Sarah are the two kids, and uh, they're playing in the desert while they're uh, while the parents are just kind of like hanging out. And uh, Adolfo runs up, basically saying that he thinks Sarah's hurt because she's bleeding, but he didn't do anything. So obviously the mother goes and checks it out, and uh, it's uh, Sarah's become a woman, uh, for lack of a better term, and. Uh, she takes her into town where she uh, changes her, basically washes her underwear and gets her her feminine hygiene products. And a really creepy looking guy is kind of like leering in at uh, at the panties, the little girl type thing that are on the uh, on the on the bathroom thing. Now uh, the kids want to go back into the uh, the desert play for about an hour and a half. And the uh, parents decide to, uh, well, father's tired, so he doesn't really want to go in, so they decide to stay there. Anyway, so stuff happens, the kids disappear, and uh, the uh, parents end up blaming each other. Although, uh, the next day they feel extremely lucky as they start to leave the, uh, the hotel when, they're, uh, when the police come with their, uh, with their children. And that's where things go south. Now, throughout this movie, uh, there's a lot of nudity, a lot of uh, sexuality, and there's a lot of uh, kind of implied. It's a layered film, and uh, I really did enjoy this one. Uh, the children have come back, but there's something wrong. And we start to see, the mother starts to notice it. The father seems to be pretty oblivious to this. We start to see some, it may look to be possession or supernatural instances beginning to happen. The the father, Felix, he turns a blind uh, eye to it all. But uh, Sol, she kind of knows what's going on. She starts taking him to a, see a, a psychologist. Uh, she talks with the school. And she keeps a very close eye on the kids. Eventually she follows them up to the uh, mountains because it com- turns out that they're not going to school they're actually going up to where they disappeared at and uh, she comes across a, a horrifying discovery something that uh, changes uh, everything and I'm, I'm not going to give it away I was going to go spoilerish on this but I'm not going to give it away uh, may not surprise you when you see it 
but um, it's extremely well done and seeing where it's going to go from there it's cool it's got a kind of a slow burn like a, kind of like a Thai West film but it's never boring it's uh, a Mexican film and everything there's a ton of nudity in this film but it doesn't come off as sleazy it comes off as uh, everything is in the execution we know when the kids come back that something happened and something's not quite right but we're not quite sure what right away there's various ideas that something happened to them up there that there was something supernatural that happened that there's something that is uh that that's possessed them exorcist style you know, or uh, that this is kind of in the mother's head like in the innocence but by the end of the film you will definitively know one way or another that uh kind of, kind of what has happened in a way and uh it's interesting if you have not seen here comes the devil i can strongly recommend it it's a great film tons of atmosphere uh but remember this is a this is a horror film it is subtitled and if that bothers you it really shouldn't because most a lot of the great horror films done nowadays are uh are foreign films and uh this this is a really good one this it's got kind of a throwback feel this is not one of those torture porn films it's a film it won a lot of awards and yet, uh, I think it was Jen Chaney on the uh, Roger Ebert blog gave a horrible review because, well, I guess she just doesn't get it. But uh, I think anybody that really likes horror, anybody that likes uh, 70s horror, especially likes the more atmospheric stuff, uh, that doesn't mind uh, nudity, and that doesn't mind going into some controversial and some difficult subject matter and some dark matter, subject matter, or really enjoy this film and, the, and get a get a lot of it on a lot of different levels. Me personally, I thought it was a fantastic film. Uh, definitely uh, one of the better ones that I've seen in a in a long while. And they did a great job. The acting in this was was overall was fantastic. Uh, the girl that played Saul, what's her name? Laura Carroll. She was amazing in the film. She could do a lot with very little, with a look or a movement or a or a tensing of her body, she could uh, portray a lot of emotion. And uh, I got to give a, here comes the devil, four spooky caves out of five. That's my review and uh, thanks for watching. It's a long weekend. I'm hoping it. I guess it's a long weekend at UA too. If not, then uh, still, guys, Friday's coming up. Enjoy yourself a good horror movie and uh, kick back and just soak it all in. Thanks for watching. And for me right now, it's time for tea.